We're going to be learning about four different, actually probably five by the time we're done, um, different types of voting methods. Um, and it's going to be really important for you to indicate which type of voting method you're, you're actually using. Um, the first method that we're going to learn is the very easiest. It's called plurality. And the plurality method is just wh basically whoever has the most votes wins. Flat, simple. When we're looking at plurality, this is the only method where we do this. All we're going to do is we're just looking at first choice. Who is their top person that they're in charge of? And then we just look and see how many votes each of those different candidates got. Really, the only way to screw this up is if you don't pay attention to the voter numbers at the top and if you don't bother to double check to see if maybe a candidate shows up more than once. For example, you may glance at this at first and say, ooh, A has 15 votes. That's the most number of votes, and so A is the winner. But double check what's happening here. A has 15 first place votes. But when you look at B, notice that B actually had the number one priority in two different columns. So you have to add both of those together. So B's first place vote was actually 16 and ends up making them the winner. C just, of course, had the six in this column. So double check. Just make sure that you actually do see and if there's more than one column that you add those together as you're counting for the total. So again, this is the plurality method. All you do, look and see who has the very most votes. And that's all there is to it. Uh, make sure we've got it down. Here's one more example. Um, notice here we have three things we're voting for, x, y, and z. These could be whatever. Um, again, if we're doing the plurality method, we're just looking at first choice and nothing else. In this case, x has 17 votes. Um, for their first place. Um, y, when we look at the Y candidate, Y shows up in two columns here. I wasn't meaning for those to be in the same place, but that's okay. Um, but notice when we add these, 13 plus 3 only gives us 16 votes. Um, so X still is the um, overall leader here, and Z still has 6 votes. So we end up with this walk away winner. And that's about it. Go ahead and try. Um, solving all of those different elections from your homework with using the plurality method. Again, just look at first choice, ignore everything else, count the number of votes, see who's the winner.